Hello, it's Mr. Logue. In this maths lesson, we're going to find missing amounts in pie charts. As you probably remember from other lessons on pie charts, pie charts are usually used to show us data. Sometimes uh, a question might have some of the data, but some of it might be missing. All right, let's go through the steps for this lesson. Step one, uh, we need to use the fractional amount we know to find the total number. Step two, we then work out what the other fractions of the pie chart are. Sometimes that will be shown, there'll be a little fraction showing it. Uh, sometimes we'll just need to look at the segment of the pie chart to work out. Step three, we calculate each fractional amount using that total number we worked out in step one. Let's have a look at this first calculation or this first word problem. Right, so as you see there, we've got a distribution of animals. We know one of the amounts, but we don't know all of the amounts. Right, so the question is complete, or the statement is complete this table showing the distribution of animals. If you'd like to do that yourself, you can pause the video now. I will be swapping over to the visualizer just to show the steps of solving this one. Pause the video now. If you would like to solve independently, keep watching if you'd like to swap to the visualizer with me. Okay, before we go to the visualizer, what we're going to do is we're just going to make it clear in our heads what each segment of that pie chart, what fraction that is. Um, as you can see, we don't have the fraction written on any parts, we're just going to need to visually look. Now, if we look at the pie chart as a whole, we can see that one part is certainly a half of it, and that is the penguin. So one of those fractions we're going to need to calculate is one half. Let's make a note of that. We know how many polar bears there are, and also if we look at the segment of polar bears, we can see that that is also a familiar fraction. That is half of a half. And half of a half is one quarter. So one quarter of the total amount is 16. We've got two other segments left, and those two segments together are the same size as the segment for polar bears. So that is one quarter, the segment for polar bears. The two segments together making a quarter. Well, if we know that half of a quarter is an eighth, then each of those segments must be an eighth. Right, so let's swap to our visualizer and we can talk through calculating each of those amounts of animals. Right, so as you can see, I've jotted down that information that we know. Polar bears, there are 16 of them and that is one quarter of the total amount. So we know that one quarter of the total amount are polar bears, but we don't know what the other three quarters are. Three quarters. So we need to find the remaining three quarters. Well, if one quarter is 16, three quarters will be three lots of 16. And four quarters is the total amount. So that will be four lots of 16. 4 times 16. 2 times 16 is 32. So 4 times 16 must be 64. The total amount of animals is 64. Here are the fractions we need to find. We already know that 1 quarter of 64 is 16. 
we now need to find one half of 64 and one eighth of 64. Well, if we half 64, we get 32. And one eighth of 64, that's the same as 64 divided by 8. 64 divided by 8 is 8. So, using that information, we can now state how many of each type of animal there are. So, we know the total number of animals is 64. One eighth of them are jaguars. One eighth of 64 is eight. Also, one eighth of them are llamas. One eighth of 64 is eight. Half of them are penguins. Half of 64 is 32. Here is another similar problem. Pause the video now, try to solve it, and then unpause to check your answer. Here comes the answer. This problem has slightly different fractions. As we can see, we have non-fiction marked on as one third, and then we have two smaller segments, which we need to work out what those fractions are. Pause the video now, try to solve it. Answers will come up in a moment. Here come the answers. Half of the 96 people enjoyed science fiction books. Half of 96 is 48. One third of the people enjoyed non-fiction books. One third of 96 is 32. If we add the 32 and 48 together, we have 80, which means that there were 16 people remaining who needed to be shared between those two other genres of book, fantasy and adventure. 16 divided by two is eight. So eight people enjoyed adventure books and eight people enjoyed fantasy books. Here's your next step for this lesson. It would be good if you could generate your own data in a pie chart. You could also ask people what their favorite genre of book is. What you should do once you've created your pie chart is not include all of the information and then write some questions of your own. Ask someone to use your pie chart to work out how many people voted for each genre of book. Hopefully you've enjoyed this lesson. If you have any questions, please let me know. Bye for now.